Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, I have here in my hands that bowl that I um, turned earlier on and what I propose to do is to flute it for you. Now what am I going to use to use to flute it with? Well I have this instrument which is it's a blade from from one of these we call it in English uh, a hacksaw, a saw for cutting metal. Occasionally the blades will break and when they break you can then use one of the two pieces and you can use either end. One end has got a slightly round end and the other end where it's flat there you can just grind that off to a uh, you know like a 60 degree angle. Okay right so that's where you can what you can use to flute with. I'm going to actually flute with the with the rounded end. So let's just get this so you are going to be able to see it hopefully. Okay, so now with my with my hand on the inside supporting it, okay, and I'm going to start cutting. Cutting down like that. And we just work down like this. Now it helps to get the hardness of the of the uh, of the pot right you don't want it too soft because if it's too soft so it's going to dig in and if it's too hard the tool is just going to skate over the surface as it were This is this is about right, really. Takes a bit of patience. Now the movement that I'm doing here is just like that, and it's movement basically. If I can get in front of the camera, there, you see my arm here just from my elbow moving like that. Okay, I'm not moving the whole of my arm. My arm is kept in to my side here. Okay, and it's just a movement from the elbow down. Okay. Let's make sure we're still still in the picture because I'm trying to film this a bit up close and uh, Now, any one of you can do this. It's not as difficult as it seems. You might think, my goodness, that is, oh, that's really skilled work. Hmm, I'll never be able to do that. Don't believe that. You will be able to do it. If you practice it, you'll be able to do it. Maybe the first one. What happens is, you see, generally, when you're doing it, the flutes, the, the trick is to get them going straight. What happens is they start veer, they start veering off, you see, and unless you bring it back and rectify it, they continue. And so when you look at it, that they they don't appear straight. That's not to say they have to always be straight, but I'm just saying, you know, in relation to sort of learning the skill of doing it, first learn to get them straight. When you can get them straight, you can then get them off going off in other directions. Now you don't really need to throw the wall of the pot thicker. That might be one of the somebody will be writing in and saying if to do that do we have to throw the wall of the pot thicker? No you don't. 
not really. I just hope I can. You're seeing this at the right angle. I'm just going to change angle there a bit. A little tip: when you start the cut here at the top, and you cut down, keep it, keep it going. Don't hesitate. Once you started, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Like that, you see. I haven't done here any fluting for a while actually. My father used to do a lot of fluting, fluting porcelain and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> he loved fluting. I used to spend time watching him fluting. So folks, eventually the whole pot, okay, how, how much have I done? I've done, I've only done halfway, you see, alright, have a go at it, get yourself a broken off bit of stick tool like this, and um, get practicing, okay, we'll see you, good luck, bye now.